Yo, what up, family? It is your boy, Triple T Tommy, the fidget spinner master, the dabber of the year. And today, what I'm doing is a final unboxing. This is it, guys. This is the final unboxing before the summer of Tommy. And you might be going, whoa, 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 whoa. what? Did Tommy just like? Yeah, I did. I have another package coming very soon that I'll unbox, and that'll be the final package before the summer of Tommy. But that leads me to an announcement before I open this that uh, a lot of people have been wondering when is the summer of Tommy starting and I did say it was going to start early it was going to start in May or something but it's actually starting next week and what does that mean for the channel well if you've been following the Tommy Toy Travels experience for about a year or so. Uh, Summer of Tommy is a change of content. It is stronger content, in my opinion. So what you're going to be seeing is no more of these boring, basic unboxing videos. I know basics are so boring, and I'm not basic. I'm alpha, so I need to stop doing that. What you'll see, eBay hauls, more toy hunts, more swag, more dabs. You'll see some sick customs. You'll see some big hacks. You'll see some Tommy's on tour, and last but not least, you will see some elites, because apparently new elites are coming out in June. So let's cheers with our juice boxes, and I'll see you guys next week for the start of that. But here we go. We have this new Ringside Collectibles printout sheet. You see the SummerSlam elites. Unfortunately, your boy was an idiot and forgot to pre-order them, or didn't see the pre-order when it went up, so I missed out on that. But just know whenever it hits retail, I will pick it up and review it, because that is the Summer of Tommy guarantee. And on the front, you can see some more stuff and stuff like that. If you want to uh, look at it, it's very cool and stuff like that. But that is not what we're here to talk about today. Today, we're here to talk about the figures. And let's check it out. What is the first figure out? It is Roman Reigns in his bronze attire. Orangey. I think this looks really cool, actually. Some people may disagree with me because some people are Roman Reigns haters, but a lot of these Roman Reigns figures feel the same, but I feel like this one is different. Why? It reminds me of Autumn. I'm a big fan of Autumn, even though I love the Summer of Tommy. I do like how the colors work with the black, even though this is like everything he always does. I think the orangey bronze rust look is good for him. Big thumbs up for this doll. And then up next is a figure I'm sure everyone will want. It is Bailey. We're not seeing many upgrades to the Bailey figures. They pretty much have the great heads and a, a body that works. But this is a very bright neon green, ready for summer, ready for a dance party for those of you that like putting your D's in front of your A's, in front of your N C E P A R T A Y dance party. And this is a uh, cool looking figure if you don't already have a Bailey. If you already have a Bailey, will you be picking this up too? That's the discussion for someone that wants to actually watch this video and have a discussion about what I talk about. And then it is Samoa Joe, the man not the place. This looks just like the Walmart, except he has a beard, so this could be very readily and easily converted to a heel Neville if it's not already heel Neville. This is the first time we're seeing Neville with a beard, which is very cool. The beard is here, as some people might say. I, I like me, I just say. And then up next is the figure that everyone's excited for. Finally, another John Cena. This time, though, he's updated to his blue and orange attire. But unfortunately, he doesn't come with a hat. What the heck, Mattel? Just give us a hat, please, with these basics. Because, you know, you gave Bailey her little uh, hairband, but John Cena, not his hat. You need a hat. It shows it in the picture, yo. What the heck, Mattel? But still, I, I do like these colors. And he is wearing car keys that type of pants, so that's cool. Uh, so if you want a new John Cena with the updated attire, this is your route to go. And then it is finally Samoa Joe looking like your boy Tommy in all red, AKA the Demon Kane. I'm sure many people look forward to this old school Kane, especially considering he's running for the president of the United States or something like that. I don't understand politics, but this guy could be the next president and you can own his figure before he's president. I think this, this is 
the best figure of the set, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are very excited for it. I know I am to have it in my hands at this point. And then last but not least, Samoa Joe with the best face they ever gave him. What? Look at that, look at that face. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about, baby. They did a good job. I think that likeness is really there. I think a lot of people will be really excited for this. And because FigureBot likes it, I, I think that this set, uh, first uh, FigureBot thought this set wasn't gonna be that good. But after the operation of unboxation, I think that this is a very good set. I think the highlights for me are Samoa Joe because the new face, we got this cane that many people will want. And then we got updated John Cena and we got Baby. But never forget the clickbait hook of Roman Reigns because this is the thumbnail that you're gonna see in the video. So no one can say I, I cheat. So thank you guys for watching this video. And as I said, next week, Summer of Tommy, get ready, get your juice boxes because this is gonna be good. As Jackie Chan's uncle would say, one more thing. So I do this thing during the Summer of Tommy called Tommy's On Tour. And usually what I do is I go to conventions. I used to do this thing called the Cosplay Card Interview Game and it was cringy AF. But the thing is that's dead, that's stopped. I've been banned from one too many conventions. Winky face. Uh, so the thing is, now I'm just gonna do some toy hunts and vlogs and stuff. So here's the thing. Are you guys going to any conventions this summer? Is there any convention you want to see me at? And I'll try and get a press pass. Let me know in the comments because let's do this together. And then again, I'll be reviewing these figures in my world's greatest, uh, largest WWE figure unboxing, which is coming up either late May or June. So get ready, get your hype level over 9,000 DBZ style, and I will see you guys in the future. Thank you again for watching this video. If you hit the like, you're a cool kid. If you hit the dislike, you're still a cool kid because you're watching this video. Hashtag YOLO squad. Y-L-O. YOLO! Fidget spinner for life. You guys, don't forget to check out my dating profile on Tinder, fidgetspinnerswag.com. Thanks.